Namaste students in this video we are going to solve division of decimals here is the first problem divide 24.3 by 3 first write the dividend in numerator and divisor in denominator start dividing numerator from highest place to lowest place from denominator denominator is 3 so if I start dividing numerator by 3 highest place is 2 3 0 za 0 2 minus 0 2 is the remainder next digit is 4 if I join this 4 to this 2 number will become 24 3 8 za 24 so after cancelling this 4 I wrote 8 za. Then I am moving to the decimal part. Before that there is a decimal point. So I am placing the decimal point in the question. Then in the decimal part next digit is 3. 3 1 za 3. Since I got the question as 0 8 1. This 0 don't have a value. So I will skip it. Hence, I will write answer as 8.1. Let's take next problem. Divide 16.4 by 4. Write the dividend in numerator, divisor in denominator. Start dividing numerator by denominator. 4 1s are 4. 1 I wrote here. 4 0 za 0. 1 minus 0, 1 is a reminder. Next digit is 6. If I join 6 to this one, this number will become 16. 4, 4 is a 16. 16 minus 16, we get reminder as the 0. Next, there is a decimal point. So, I am placing decimal point in the quotient. Next digit is 4. Since, after dividing this 4 by 4, I will get 4 1s are 4. 1 I wrote here. Hence, we got the quotient as 0, 4 point 0 don't have a value. Since, I will write quotient as 4.1. Let's take next problem. Divide 20.5 by 5. Write the dividend in numerator, divisor in denominator. Start dividing numerator by denominator. 5 ones are 5. Highest place is tens. In tens, 2 is there. 2 is smaller than 5. So I am taking 5 zeros are 0. 2 minus 0. Remainder is 2. Next digit is 0. If I join this 0 to this 2, 2 will become 20. 5 fours are 20. 4 I wrote. I will cancel this 0 also. Remainder is 0. Then I have to divide the decimal part. Before going to divide decimal part, we have to place the decimal point in the quotient. 5 1s are 5. 5 minus 5, 0. Hence, I got the quotient as 0, 4.1. 0 don't have a value since I will write only 4.1. This is the final answer. Let's take next one. Divide 40.8 by 4. Write the dividend in numerator. Divisor in denominator. Start dividing the numerator by denominator. Starting from highest place to lowest place. Highest place is tens. In tens, 4 is there. Since here also 4 ones are 4, here also 4 ones are 4. 4 minus 4, 0 is the remainder. Next digit is 0. We know that 4 zeros are 0. So I will divide this 0 also by 0. Next, I am going to the decimal part. Before going to the decimal part, we have to place the decimal point in the quotient also. I place the decimal point then I will divide the decimal part. In the decimal part it is there. We know that 4 to the 8. So I wrote 
टू हियर एट माइनस एट जीरो अगेन हेंस आई गॉट द क्वेश्चन एज टेन पॉइंट टू हियर दिस वन इज ऑल्सो हैव अ वैल्यू जीरो ऑल्सो हैव अ वैल्यू सिंस हियर आई एम नॉट रिमूविंग दिस जीरो आई एम राइटिंग ऑल द डिजिट्स इन द क्वेश्चन हेंस आई गॉट द फाइनल आंसर एज टेन पॉइंट टू लेट्स टेक द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम Divide 18.9 by 3. Write the dividend in numerator, divisor in denominator. Start dividing numerator by denominator, starting from highest place to lowest place. Three ones are three. Three zeros are zero. One minus zero, one as the remainder. Join the next digit to remainder. The number will become 18. Three six are 18. I wrote. Six here, I cancel eighteen. Eighteen minus eighteen will get remainder as the zero. Then I will move to the decimal part. Before going to divide the decimal part, we have to place the decimal point in the quotient. Then the decimal part is nine. We know that three three is a nine. I wrote three here. Nine minus nine again, it is zero as the remainder. Here we got the quotient as. 06.3 here this zero don't have a value since i will remove this zero i will write only 6.3 let's take the next one that is 24.6 by 6 write the dividend in the numerator divisor in the denominator start dividing the numerator by denominator 6 1 6 6 0 0 Zero, two minus zero, two as the remainder. Next, take the four and join to the two. The number will become twenty-four. Six four is a twenty-four. I will cancel this four. I will write four here. Then twenty-four minus twenty-four is equals to zero is the remainder. After that, next divide the decimal part. Before going to divide the decimal part, place the decimal point in the quotient. Then divide the decimal part. In the decimal part, six is there. We know that six ones are six. Six minus six zero. Here we got the quotient zero four point one. Zero don't have a value since I will write only. 4.1 let's take some more problem on this divide 28.7 by 7 write the dividend in numerator divisor in denominator start dividing numerator by denominator 7 ones are 7 seven zeros are 0 2 minus 0 2 as the remainder join the next digit that is 8 Number became twenty-eight. Seven four is twenty-eight. Twenty-eight minus twenty-eight will get remainder as the zero. Now divide the decimal part. Before going to divide the decimal part, place the decimal point in the quotient. Then seven is there in the decimal part. Seven one is seven. We got the quotient zero four point one zero. Don't have a value since. Answer will become four point one. Let's take the last problem on this. Divide sixty four point eight by eight. Write the dividend in numerator, divisor in denominator. Start dividing numerator by denominator. Eight ones are eight. Six is smaller than eight, so I am taking zeros. Are six minus zero six. Join the next digit four. Number will become sixty-four. Eight, eight is a sixty-four. I wrote eight. I cancelled four. Then sixty-four minus sixty-four. We will get the remainder as zero. Now I have to divide the decimal part. Before going to divide the decimal part, place the decimal point in the quotient. Then the decimal part is eight. We know that eight ones are eight. Hence. We got the quotient zero eight point one 
zero don't have a value since i will get the quotient as 8.1 this is the final answer this way we will do the division of decimals